so, I'm angry. I'm mad as hell. I am freaking livid. I'm also heartbroken. Another one of my friends that I love dearly passed away from an overdose. That's three very close, dear friends of mine that I have lost to this ugly, horrible disease in the past two years. And nobody believes it's a disease. There are people out there that still think that addiction is a moral failing or a choice. It is not. When are we going to wake up? I told you the other day that 93,000 Americans die each year from drug overdose related deaths. And I told you to imagine if we took that, that number from all the countries that it would be astronomical. Well, guess what? I looked it up. And it is. Not only is it astronomical, it is not accurate. It was taken in 2017. That is when the data was gathered. We all know the numbers have skyrocketed since 2017 with the outbreak of COVID. And come on now, but the numbers in 2017 worldwide drug related deaths was 585,000 annually. Not only is it not accurate because of the time that it was taken, a lot of the countries do not report drug-related deaths. They don't have the resources to accurately report the data. Wake up. Drug addiction is a disease. It does not discriminate. It does not care how old you are. My friend died one day before her 55th birthday. A beautiful, beautiful, full of life person that will be greatly missed. It does not care what your ethnic background is. It doesn't care. It doesn't care what your social status is. It does not care. It doesn't care if you are rich or poor. If you are beautiful or ugly, it does not give a rip. We have to change the world's thinking on drug addiction. We have to get those who are suffering help treatment. Recovery is possible. We have to stand together and make changes in our the way insurance handles addiction. The way those who are suffering are made to feel about their addiction. Please support me by liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. Uh, I know I promised that today uh, I would tell you what happened when my daughter finally had to make that critical decision about what she and the baby were going to do after her, their release at Serenity Place. 
but it's going to have to wait one for Wednesday. At that time, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you, she did not make the right choice. And when you hear what happened, it's just another horror story right out of the chronicles of drug addiction.